The South China Sea has long been a source of conflict for China and its neighbors. In recent months, Vietnam has accused China of sinking multiple fishing boats in contested areas. In response, China has said that they reserve the right to take law enforcement actions when boats illegally enter their territory. In 2014, a survey found that 84% of Vietnamese people were worried that China's regional disputes could lead to a military conflict. So what would happen if China and Vietnam went to war? Well, as a matter of fact, the two nations have already seen combat not that long ago. In 1979, China attacked Vietnam in retaliation for Vietnam's invasion of Cambodia the previous year. Although China put up a much larger fighting force, they were unable to overcome the Vietnamese military and failed in ousting them from Cambodia. After just six weeks, China retreated. Although both countries proclaimed victory, it was clear that China had not achieved its goals and suffered major losses. But that was 36 years ago, and both countries have changed dramatically. Today, as was the case in 1979, China's military is considerably larger and better funded than Vietnam's. Worldwide, China ranks third in overall military strength, while Vietnam only ranks 21st. Additionally, China boasts 2.3 million active soldiers, to Vietnam's roughly 400,000. China also has considerably more military equipment and spends $145 billion a year on defense. That's about 40 times Vietnam's military budget. But despite China's obvious advantage, Vietnam has been quietly bolstering its air force and navy. Besides beating out China in the late 70s, Vietnam has experienced battling other powerful militaries, including French as well as American forces. A security expert has been quoted as saying that even if Vietnam doesn't win the conflict, their defeat won't come easily. Still, despite Vietnam's newer technology, their historical wins have been predominantly based on land battles. As the South China Sea would likely be the setting of a new war, there is little hope of Vietnam matching up to China's unbelievably huge navy. With 63 submarines, 25 destroyers, an aircraft carrier, and thousands of merchant marines, China's fleet is 10 times stronger than Vietnam's. Clearly, Vietnam has little advantage in any potential battle. What's worse is that Vietnam is not a member of NATO and does not have the US's guaranteed protection. The US even has an arms embargo against Vietnam, although it was recently relaxed, specifically in response to Chinese aggression. At best, Vietnam could see support from the Philippines, one of their closest allies, and also one of the most fearful of Chinese aggression. Pound for pound, there's little Vietnam could do to avoid losing a battle against China. But history has shown that despite their smaller size and resources, they still pack a heavy punch. Vietnam may be weaker, but it's far from defenseless. With all the military strength China has, how much of a threat is the country to worldwide security? Find out by watching this video from our friends at All Time Conspiracies. China also remains the world's second largest economy and continues to grow at an astonishing rate of 7% every year. As its military politics and trade relations grow ever stronger, China's dream to displace American power could very soon become a reality. Thanks for watching Test Tube News. Make sure to like and subscribe for new videos every day. Wow.